Okay, so I'm going to today show you how I organize my stamps um, or the or a database of my stamp collection on my computer. This is a Mac, but I'm sure you can do this on PC as well. Now I've downloaded the Evernote app to my computer, so that's going to help me. It's going to assist me in doing this. So let me show you how I how I go about doing this, and I use it all the time. Okay, so I've got the MFT lined up dots background stamp in my hand. So I'm going to search. Look at that. Boom. So I'm going to get the image. And here is the image. Okay, so if you have the app on your computer, you can right click and you're going to go down to save image to Evernote. Okay, so it's it's saving this for me. In my in my app I also have the balloon strings I think that's what it's called this one so I'm going to save this image to Evernote Okay, and then once I have those, it goes into my notebook that I already have set up. <clears throat> so these two images that I already have, that I've saved, Evernote, are already in here. So I'm going to just title them. Should probably make sure that that's the right name. Okay, so that's my title. And then I'm going to go up here to tags and I'm going to tag it my, or MFT, I think I've been doing, MFT. And this is important to, to make it as useful as possible. Okay, then you're going to tag like ballooned. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I'm all sniffly and snarfly. Um, or strings. Anything that you can think of that's going to help you use this background stamp. Um, or you can just do background. Okay, then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put it into my stamps folder. We're going to do the same thing with this one. And tag it. Uh, sometimes you don't really have a lot of a lot of tags. Cuz I mean, what are you going to circles? Try that. <clears throat> so we're also going to put this into my stamps folder. So I have a few notebooks here. We've got embossing folders, uh, pattern paper, stamps, standalone dies, stencils. So let's go into my stamps. And this is my collection that I've put on this database. Okay. I don't have a, a ginormous collection like some of you may have, but if I go down to the M's, here's my, my M's. And you can easily see that I've just put these two background stamps in to my collection. Now this is really cool because you can go to tags. Okay, and these are all the tags that I've used. So say I'm, I, need, I need a heart. I, I wanna put a heart on my project. So I'm gonna go over to the H's Okay, and I'm going to go to hearts. Here's heart or hearts. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to click heart. These are all the stamp sets or anything that I've tagged that has a heart in it. Okay, so you can see the heart, heart, 
heart. So you can kind of go through and see which heart you want to use on your project. <clears throat> so let's do a stamp set because that's a little more complicated. So here I have the MFT Lucky stamp set. I do have the dies, so I'm going to save that. And here's the stamp set. I'm going to save that. All right, so I'm going to go back to Evernote. And everything that I save online goes right into this folder. So now when I have a stamp set, okay, I'm going to tag every image that's in here. So I'm going to say uh, first what brand it is, and then I'm going to say horseshoe, and then star, and moon heart, faces, cloud, cloud, not clouds. Uh, let's see, we've got a clover, and we have a diamond. We also have Sentiments, okay? So this is another great thing about this. I'm going to type in here, I'm so lucky that you were my friend. And I'm going to do this for all of them. And as you can see, it doesn't take that long. Now, if you have a massive collection, it might take you a little while, but it's worth it. Okay, so once I have all of the images list tagged and the sentiments, then I'm going to go up and I'm going to put it in my stamps. I'm going to add these coordinating dies to that same image in a second. So let's go to tags. Now I just added all of those sentiments. So if I want to say something, a certain, a certain sentiment, I want to wish somebody good luck on my card. So this is all of my good luck sentiments that I have. Okay, these are the two sets that I have that say good luck. Now, if there was something more prevalent, like happy birthday, then all of these things say happy birthday, whether it's a embossing folder, a die set, or a stamp set. This is everything that has happy birthday in it, even the old school wooden sets. So this is how I organize my things. Okay, I've also got patterned paper in here. These are all my six by six paper pads. This helps me like if I'm trying to color coordinate, I've got different colors up here. Um, now, if you have MFT and you can tag each one of these MFT colors. So if you have MFT inks, MFT cardstock, MFT pattern paper, you can tag all of those specific colors <clears throat> that way, if you're doing the color challenge and you have, excuse me, <clears throat> if you're doing the color challenge and you have these specific colors that you want to use, 
then you can go up and create tags for all of those different colors. And therefore, it's easy to see what you've got in those specific, specific colors. Pretty neat. I've got stencils. So these are all my stencils. And I've got a standalone dies. So these are all the dies that are not coordinating or that can stand alone. So these are actually coordinating dies, but I use these to stand alone. So you kind of organize them what way you think is best that you're going to use them. Um, and I just put all of my, my dies in here, my blueprints, everything. And that way I can easily see what I've got. So if I'm stumped or if I want to find something, now these are also organized the same way that I put them in my drawer. Okay, so these are all paper tray. These are all um, paper smooches. So if you organize your things differently, not by company, but maybe by like birthday or Halloween or Christmas, then you can put them in your database, Christmas, Halloween. It doesn't have to be by the company. So I hope this helps you guys. Or if you have any questions or if you need elaboration on something, please just let me know because I'm not an expert, but I've, you know, this, I'm using this system and it does help me and maybe I can help you. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. What's in your toes? Toe cheese. <laughs>